happy Easter. Sister Michelle from the faithful, the faithful, the faithful companions of Jesus. Okay, it's not Easter Sunday, but it is still the liturgical season of Easter. For the next few weeks, actually. And so really every day is a day where we can say happy Easter until Pentecost Sunday comes. Do you know that we are actually all called to be part of the resurrection? Really? All of us. Every single one of us. Did you know that the resurrection is ongoing, ongoing, ongoing? What's going on? I don't mean that Jesus is still rising from the dead. That part is finished. But the resurrection can continue to happen in the world all around us and inside of us, all the time. <laughs> Jesus once used the example of a seed when he foreshadowed his death and resurrection. What happens to a seed? It has to stop being a seed so that it can grow into a plant like this beautiful geranium, for example. In other words, it has to die. <laughs> it has to let go of its seedness. So, I have here, here's the seed. And can you see this? Can you see this seed? The difference between the seed and the plant is enormous. It's a huge difference. But the seed has to stop being a seed in order to become this beautiful geranium plant. And look what happens, look what happens, look what happens when it does. It's beautiful. And in the same way we are being called by God to become ourselves, but a more joyful, a more peace-filled, a more love-filled version of ourselves. The Bible says we are called to become a new creation in God. A new creation in God. When we become this person, this more joy-filled, peace-filled, love-filled version of ourselves, we are participating in the resurrection. How can we do this? By letting go of those things that are holding us back, keeping us from this new version of ourselves. It's letting go of the need to be right all the time. Letting go of the pretending you didn't hear your mom when she was calling and asking for your help. Hello! Like let go of the bad attitude. <laughs> letting go of the snarkiness to your sister. Choose to love your sister. Choose to thank your mom for all that she does for you. Choose to see joy in this world. Choose resurrection. Choose resurrection. It makes a difference. Really, we can't be transformed without God. Can't be done. We can't do it. It's just not possible. So let's pray that God will continue to help us to be transformed through the grace of the resurrection. <laughs>